Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Reentry, an orbital simulator here on the Lord Master Channel, in which previously we did a, a two orbit flight, a two orbit space flight on that previous video. So now the program had a huge achievement after my previous flight, and I have to become a national hero. It's time to get up again. Our next flight will have six orbits. So we're in for a long haul now. Big plans are in development for the next phases of NASA. It was announced by the president that we shall travel to the moon by the end of this decade. Things are wrapping up and moving fast, and the new space programs are in development to reach this goal. One of the remaining tasks is to learn how long durations of weightlessness or zero G force affects the astronauts. Your task today is to start these types of missions with a slightly longer mission than previously tried. Your goal is six orbits, followed by medical tests to see how it is affecting me. Let's get right to it then. Let's not waste any time here. Okay, we're back in business, so it's an hour and 30 minutes before we launch, which means we have to run through the whole free launch checklist. Ah, just popped the neck. All right. Roadmaster, you ready for a long haul? We are T-minus 90 minutes. Sure am. Let's get this cockpit set up. Roger. MCC is ready. You know the procedures. Follow normal checklist and prepare the cockpit. Sour to complete cockpit special checklist. Try to follow the correct stamp for each of the checklists. This means T minus checklist is done now. And then uh, the board capability checklist is T minus 40 minutes and so on. Roger, will do. Just giving her a bit of a look around at the moment. So, on this briefing, um, Orbit 1, Earth Tracking, Orbit 2, Flare Lookout, Orbit 3, Constellation Observation, Orbit 4, Food and Break, which is pureed beef and vegetables and applesauce, then Orbit 5, Weather Observation, and Orbit 6, Retrograde and Entry Preparations. I'll look at the checklist in just a moment. Time to retrograde is 9 hours and 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So, oh my. Yep, we're definitely going to be in a long video <laughs> for this one. Let's get right to it. They're installed. They're at a hundred. At a hundred. Ready to send a zero. Send it a check. It sounded like clock time of day. It's there. Launch retrograde. Everything is running. Rates. Indicators are centered. Not the indicators check. Remove the cover. Everything should be running.
called Sword Precise. At 2 minus 40 minutes, start the abort capability checklist. You got it. We'll run it as soon as we hit that time, which I'll hit the time scale in just a moment. As I'm trying to get mentally prepared of this idea of you're doing a very long space flight and who knows. <laughs> Now, get to 40 minutes. Now, time scale 200 speed. And stop! Okay, way past two, so you're fine. Okay, we're ready for a board cable checklist, volley board cable checklist. Now, quest the board cable test. A board cable check started. A board light should illuminate the amp should spike. I saw that. Okay, that's good. A board cable check completed. Monitor pulse voltage, battery current, and a board light. I did see that. At 2 minus 20 minutes, start the uh, abbreviated interior check. Now, skip. Stop. At 30 seconds till 20. Check this thing. Well aware. Back to main. Ten minutes for internal power checklist. You got it. So, okay, bring it up. Switch to full internal power. And then in 30 seconds we'll request the blockhouse to switch to internal power. You just gotta do it right. Even if you are a little bit off. Remember, your splashdown in your last mission was right by the Gulf Coast off the Florida Panhandle. So there's no way you can absolutely screw this up whenever you go to re-entry in a far future. <clears throat> T minus 10 minutes, switch to internal power, perform the final checks. Roger, we'll do the remaining two checklists. Disconnected launch vehicle and you're from the biblical power, you are now on internal power. So the battery is off. T minus 5 minutes, final check. Hundreds of speed. Ready for launch. Transmit to UHF. Radio check. After I read you 505 on UHF. Switch to battery 1. And then at 30 seconds, the ascent uh, checklist, which will get down right to it. Okay. T minus six seconds. Good luck today. Thanks. Will be a good flight, I hope. Indeed, just try not to bump it into a switch or two. Roger, we'll try my best.
<clears throat> Here we go. E minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off. Biblical disconnect. Lift off and the clock has started. As it should be. Roger, time to fly. We see a malfunction in battery one. Set it off or to descent. We have a team inspected in telemetry. Put it on two. Roger, will this have an impact on the mission duration? No. The remaining two batteries should hold for many more hours than needed. We are still go. Roger, I'm picking up some heavy vibrations. A bit early for max Q to be max Q. Missile telemetry is looking at the data. Roger, waiting uh, procedures. This is irregular. We are still go. Booster and sustainer showing nominal values with a few slight exceptions. Nothing to worry about. Roger. Trajectory seems normal. Monitor aboard and warning lights. about to be holding at 5.5 .5, as it should be. I'll bring up the uh, BCL checklist in just a moment. Abort, Lord Master, I repeat, abort. Roger, abort. Um, God damn it. Carl, shift Z. Aboard, aboard. Aborting, escape tower is firing. What the f happened? Hold oh, on here. There's gotta be an emergency procedure for this during the launch and ascent. Okay, so, I said bus is lost and abort is not possible. Um, so I did the abort handle. It, it is green. In separation to check that of the ACS positions and capsules in retrograde altitude. Use manual control if needed. Okay. Select uh, retro and uh, retro attitude is auto. Should it be auto? I this is highly regular. Retro rat is auto. Yes. Squibs are armed. Monitor alternator. Complete normal landing procedures. Manual override if needed. Start the landing checklist. So, going down immediately. We just had some sort of malfunction. Can anybody tell me what the hell happened? Waiting for a retrograde section operation. I'm sure those people down at Missile Control are like, well, what the hell happened? I don't know all that. Cabin pressure's a little up. The suit's fine. The oxygen's fine. And fuel. Roger. Retros are jettisoned. You're on suborbital trajectory. Recovery is being instructed as we speak. Tower's gone. Roger. Caps turn around to start. You should. We'll go through normal recovery procedures. If the retro pack is still attached, genocide with manual override. Prepare for re-entry. Manually maneuver the re-entry altitude if needed. Engage the ACS if attitude is, uh, is wrong or roll program does not initiate. Yeah, we got 05G now, as it should. Retros did fire automatically as it should. So we're doing re entry, so this is a premature end to this flight, I guess. We just have to make the splashdown now. 
So this is just going to be just like, you know, the earliest Mercury mission with a redstone rocket. Except something happened. So a battery went off and then they tell me to abort. As I said, you better explain to me what the hell happened. I mean, I was a little, you know, like, oh, you know, like I was trying to find a button to, you know, like, fire the escape tower to, you know, for the abort procedure. Now we have to re-enter back into Earth. Just give me the auto check. See that 26? Yeah, it should start momentarily. I could have hit that time zero so I would know what was the exact time that the uh, that the uh, thing happened. Here we go. Um, I don't think that re-entry looks correct. Hang on. Maybe we should try fly by wire because that did not look right unless uh, Trench tells me otherwise but it was short lived but we're going down now so just make sure that the uh, drogue is deployed and based on how that booster sounds um, it's even going off uh, incorrectly so yeah, this thing is malfunctioned so, just in case. The emergency procedure should still work. If not, I'll have to do it manually. Black Jack 1, do you read? Okay. I have it clear. Drogue out. Okay. The drogue is out. So I got some communication issue. We're about to turn blue here. Good to see you again. Roger, waiting for mains now. Let's land this. Yeah, I was wondering. It's like, hey, are you going to tell me to do this and do this thing? That's what I was having issue with. Like, okay, main deployed. Yeah, we're going to sign. Landing flag deployed. Yep. We got it. Still went fine as it should. Son of a beeswax. Oh, well, that was a rather short flight. Yeah, a bit too exciting. Well, how nice they didn't see what went wrong. Yes, we sure will. We'll prepare for splashdown. Roger. On the outside, the capsule looks A-OK. -okay. One thing though, battery check, give me the battery check. So main one, had no battery power in it, so we had to use two, um, which is missing. Anything else looks fine. Okay, anything else I should check? Well, it doesn't matter what the temperature, but it's just um, uh, they'll have the answers of what went wrong. So just wait until we splash down, and we'll figure it out. What happened? I was expecting the longest flight yet, but yet it was the shortest flight of all time. Well, not necessarily. I mean, your little Mercury Redstone mission from the first time was longer than this. And I was a little bit off on, like, what's with the, uh, the rancher? But I think I'm used to the orbital way, not the suborbital. So you didn't make it didn't need to make any adjustments. So 
So I was I, I caught a little bit off guard, but not to the point where I was panicking big time. No, no, no. So yeah, that got me a bit. <laughs> hmm. Okay, about to make contact. Great. Let's debrief. Welcome home. Roger. Thanks. So, what happened here? A malfunction in the Atlas launch vehicle caused by anomaly resenting an abort, and a loss of the launch vehicle. This caused a bit of a setback. Uh, but we're on track again. Since then, astronaut Patrick followed a successful identical mission of yours. They're currently holding a record of the longest time in space. So, um, <laughs> I know you people were expecting a long video, but I think I may have to, you know, Cut that a little short. I mean, that was a little bit dramatic there. <laughs> so, perhaps in the uh, next video, um, which we'll do one more Mercury mission, in which uh, it says the last Mercury mission is almost complete after almost 36 hours in orbit and currently on the 24th orbit, it's time to fire those retros head back home. So, this would actually be a uh, would be right in the middle of a spaceflight mission, which is you know different than what you would typically see where we do it by launch but no so we'll, we'll do this in the next video just one more space flight for mercury for the conclusion of campaign one and then we'll move on with what's next here on the lord master channel so we see you in the next video so long for now